Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Python string. I will explain various methods and various operations that can be performed on Python string. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Any letter or any word or any sentence is considered as string and we represent string in either single quotations or double quotations. For example, here I written a equal to hello where I written hello in double quotations because we need to represent string in double quotations. So whenever you write print a, you will get output hello. In place of double quotations, you can also use single quotations. For example, here I written a equal to hello in single quotations. After that, I written print a. So whenever you run this code, you will get same output hello. So we represent string in either single quotations or double quotations and any single character or word or any sentence is considered as string. For example, I want to print multi-line string. So at first I written I am Nagendra and in second line I written I am from Hyderabad. So whenever you want to print multi-line string, you need to represent this in either three single quotations or three double quotations. So here I took three single quotations at starting and I took three single quotations at the end. In place of single quotations, you can also take double quotations like at starting you need to take three double quotations and at the end you need to take three double quotations. So whenever you write this code, you will get output I am Nagendra and I am from Hyderabad. This is how we represent multi-line strings. If you take three double quotations at the starting, then you need to take three double quotations at the end too. And if you take three single quotations at the starting, then you need to take three single quotations at the end too. In case if you take three double quotations at the starting, and three single quotations at the end, it will display error. Let us consider this example. Here I written a equal to hello comma India, where a is variable name and hello comma India is string. So we need to represent string in double quotations or you can also use single quotations. Here inside double quotations, I written hello comma India and after that I written print a, where print function is used to generate output. So inside print, I written a. So whatever the data that is present inside variable a, will be generated as output. So I will get output hello comma India. And similarly, I written print type of A where this type function is used to display data type. Here hello India is string. So I will get output class str that is string. And next I written print len of A where len is length function. It will count how many characters that are present inside this string. Here h e l l o comma India. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total there are 11 characters present inside this string. So it will display output 11. Here comma is also considered as single character. So it will occupy length for this comma. In place of comma, if you write hello space India, then this space is also considered as single character. Strings are arranged because we can access each character present inside this string by giving index number. Let us consider this example here. I written a equal to hello comma India, where h is stored in index number. 0, E in index number 1, L in index number 2 and L in index number 3, O in index number 4 and comma in index number 5 and so on. Here I written print A of 1. Same like arrays, we need to represent index number inside brackets. So I written here A of 1. So whenever you run this code, whatever the character that is present inside this index number 1 will be generated as output. So in index number 1, character is E. So I will get output E. For example, if you write print A of 2, then whatever the character that that is present inside this index number 2 will be generated as output. So I'll get output that is L. In place of 2, if you write index 5, index 5 contains comma. So you'll get output comma. Strings are arranged because we can access each character present inside this string by giving index number. You can also loop string by using for loop. So at first I written for and x. X is nothing but variable name. Here I took variable name as X. In, in double quotations, I written banana, where banana is string. And after that, give colon. And inside this for loop, write print X. It will take each character. At first, it will take B and it will print B. Next, it will take A and it will print A. And similarly, it will take N, A, N, A. So it will print B, A, N, A, N, A, line by line. You can also identify certain character is present inside this string by using if condition and in keyword. Here I written A equal to I love India, where I love India is string, so write this in double quotations. And if I given condition India in A, where India is string, write this in double quotations. In this keyword and write here A. A is this variable name. Give colon and inside if write print India is present in A. Meaning of this is if India is present inside this variable A, then I should get output India is present in A. So I return here print India is present in A. At first it will check condition. 
whether India is present in A. Here A contains string I love India. Yes, India is present here. So I will get output India is present in A. For example, in place of India, if I give Hyderabad, if Hyderabad in A, so it will check whether Hyderabad is present in variable A. So Hyderabad is not present in variable A. Here it will not print this statement. Here I will not get any output. This is one more example. Here I written A equal to I love India. And next I written print I in A. I am asking that whether I is present in A. Yes, I is present here. So I will get output true. Similarly, I written print love in A. I am asking that whether love is present in variable A. Yes, love is present here. So I will get output true. And next I written print Hyderabad in A. I am asking that whether Hyderabad is present in A. It will check whether Hyderabad is present in A. No, Hyderabad is not present in A. So it will display output false. Next I return print India not in. This time I am using keyword not in. I am asking that whether India is not present in A, but India is present in A. So it will display output false. So I will get output true, true, false and false. This is my output for this program. Here I love Hyderabad India. All are strings. So write them in double quotations. Next I will explain string slicing. If you want to access substrings from given string, then you need to use string slicing. Let us consider this example. In this example, I took string that is I am Shiva, where this I is substring and am is substring and Shiva is substring. If you want to access these substrings, then you need to use string slicing. This is slice syntax. You need to specify start index number and end index number separated by a colon. And you need to write this in square brackets. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand how this slicing will work. Here I written A equal to I am Shiva, where I am Shiva is string. So I is stored in index number 0 and space in index number 1, A in index number 2, M in index number 3 and space is stored in index number 4 and Shiva is stored in index number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I want to access substring. Now I want to print substring I am. So just write print and this string is present in variable A. So open bracket and write A and inside square brackets you need to give start and end index number. Here I want to print I am. So I is present in index number 0. So starting is 0 and give colon and ending alphabet is M. M is present in index number 3. But you should not give index number 3. You need to add plus 1 for ending index. You need to add plus 1. So you need to give here 4. For example, if you write here index number 3, then it will print i space a and it will not print this m. So definitely you need to add plus 1 for ending index. So I given here index number 4. So whenever you run this code, you will get output i am. For example, if you want to print substring that is Shiva, starting is s. S is present in index number 5. So just write here print a of 5. This is starting index that is 5, colon, ending index is 9. But you need to add plus 1. So give here 10. So whenever you run this code, you will get output Shiva. For example, I am writing here print A and open square bracket. Here I am not writing any start index. Directly I am writing end index that is 10. So if you don't give here starting index, then by default it will take index number 0 and it will print from starting. If you do not specify starting index, then by default it will take index number 0 as starting index and it will print from starting. And here I written ending index as index number 10. So it will print output that is I am Shiva. And for example here, if I write A of starting from index number 0. For example, if you do not specify end index, then by default it will print till end. So you will get output I am Shiva. For example, if you don't specify start and end index, just give here colon and I did not given here start index and end index. If you don't give start index and end index, then by default it will start from index number 0 and it will print till end. So you will get output I am Shiva. You can also give negative index numbers. A is stored in index number minus 1, V in minus 2, i in minus 3, h in minus 4, s in minus 5 and space in minus 6, m in minus 7 and a in minus 8. So I want to print I am Shiva. So just write here print starting is a, a is stored in index number that is minus 8. So write here minus 8 and I want to print till end. So don't give any index number then by default it will print till end. So you will get output I am Shiva. So if you want to print string in reverse order then just write here print and give here variable a and give here double colon minus 1. So whenever you give here double colon and minus 1 then it will print string in reverse order like a v i h s space m a space i. This is my output for this program. Here print is function. 
So you need to take brackets and inside brackets I written a and for index numbers definitely you need to use square brackets and the string is present in variable a so definitely give here variable a otherwise it will display error. Next I will explain string operations by using various built in methods we can perform various string operations like converting string to uppercase and lowercase and replacing one string with another string and combining two strings and so on. This is example here I written a equal to Hyderabad where h is capital letter and after that I written print a dot lower and after that I return print a dot upper and where this lower and upper are built in methods same like functions for methods you need to include brackets so for lower and upper method I am using brackets so whenever you run this code this lower method is used to convert string into lower case so I will get output Hyderabad in small letters and similarly this upper method is used to convert string into upper case so I will get output Hyderabad in capital letters h y d e r a b a d in capital letters and another one is strip method H T R I P strip method by using this strip method you can remove white spaces for example I written a equal to after giving some space I written Hyderabad and after giving some space I am closing this after that I am writing print the string is present in variable a so definitely write here a dot strip this strip method is used to remove white spaces so it will remove white spaces it's starting and ending of the string so it will remove this white space and it will remove this white space and it will print output Hyderabad without any starting and ending space and for all methods you need to include variable name here Hyderabad is present in variable a so definitely write here a dot lower a dot upper and a dot strip and by using replace method you can replace any string either you can replace single character or multiple characters for example here I took a equal to ptech now I want to replace this b with m so just write here print and inside print I am writing a dot replace here I want to replace b with m so just write here b in double quotations comma m so whenever you run this code you will get output m tech because it will replace b with m and definitely give here a dot because our string is present in variable a so definitely before any method give variable name dot method for example if you want to replace multiple characters so just write here a equal to i am from hyderabad this is string so write this in double quotations now i want to replace this hyderabad with india so just write here print a dot replace i want to replace hyderabad so write here hyderabad double quotations close comma india where india is string you need to write this in double quotations and close this print function so whenever you run this code you will get output i am from india because it will replace hyderabad with india by using replace method you can replace either single character or multiple characters next i will explain string concatenation concatenation is nothing but combining how to combine two strings for example let us take two strings let a equal to hello and b equal to india i took two variables where this variable a contains hello and variable b contains india now i want to combine these two strings a and b so just write here print by using plus operator you can combine two strings so just write here print a plus b so whenever you run this code you will get output hello india without any space for example i want to get output hello comma india so just write here print a plus in double quotations right comma plus b so whenever you run this code you will get output hello comma india for example i want to get output hello space india so just write here print a plus in double quotations q space plus b so whenever you run this code you will get output hello space in double quotations i took space so you will get here space and india for example if you want to combine three strings for example a equal to hello b equal to india and c equal to hyderabad so just write here print a plus b plus c it will print hello india hyderabad normally by using plus operator you can combine two strings but if you want to combine one string and one integer value then you need to use for format method i will give an example this is example here i written a equal to 21 after that i written b equal to my age is where my age is string so write this in double quotations i want to place integer value 21 here i want to get output like my age is 21 so open curly bracket and close curly bracket now i want to place 21 here so for that purpose you need to use format method so just write print b dot format a that means i am formatting this 21 to the string b it will place 21 here so i'll get output my age is 21 21 in place of curly braces and we call this curly braces as placeholders this is placeholder i'll give one more example here i written a equal to 10 and b equal to i should get output like 10 is my rule number so take here placeholders 10 is my rule number this is string close this in double quotations so i should get output like 10 is my rule number 
I want to combine this string with rule number 10. 10 is integer. Now write print b dot format. By using format method, we can combine integer value with string. A contains integer value 10. It will place 10 here. So I will get output. 10 is my rule number. My rule number. This is my output. Next, I will explain escape characters in string. Normally, we use slash n and slash t. Where slash n stands for new line and slash t stands for horizontal tab. For example, here I written a equal to hello slash n. Where slash n stands for new line and India. Whenever you write print a, it will print hello in first line. Where slash n stands for new line. So, it will print India in next line. For example, in place of slash n, if you use slash t, where slash t stands for tab. So, at first it will print hello and slash t stands for tab. So, after giving some space, it will print India. For example, I want to get output, I am Nagendra. And I want to get output Nagendra in double quotations. Here I took a equal to I am Nagendra. Where I am Nagendra is string, so write this in double quotations. And similarly, I want to print Nagendra in double quotations, so again I took double quotations. And I written print A. So whenever you run this code, you will get output that is error because we can't write double quotations inside double quotations and we can't write single quotations inside single quotations. In this example, I am Nagendra is string. So I took this in double quotations. And again inside this, I am using double quotations for Nagendra. So, whenever you use double quotations inside double quotations, it will display error. In order to overcome this problem, we use backslash. So, here I written a equal to I am Nagendra in double quotations. And here I want to represent Nagendra in double quotations. So, just use slash before double quotation. So, here I am using slash double quotations Nagendra and again before this double quotations use slash. And I written print a. So, whenever you write this code, you will get output I am Nagendra where it will represent Nagendra in double quotations.